It is very convenient to get to many places by the Tainan City Bus. Come find Tainan's beautiful scenery on the light bus travel route. Riding a motorbike to explore small alleys is just one option in Tainan. Tainan has many beautiful scents and it is very convenient to get to these places by taking Tainan City Bus. Today, let's take the yellow line and travel around Tainan. Remember to download the app of Tainan City Bus. You can check the routes easily. Let's take a bus, travel light, and discover Tainan's beautiful sceneries. There are illustrations of a light bus travel route on the Tainan City Bus website, marking the main attractions of each area. So you can travel around Tainan on a light bus travel route. I'm taking you to the tourist attractions along the Yellow Line, which goes through Mago, Xingyin, Jinglao, Dongshan, and Guanzili. Hey, uh, David here, and I'm in Guanzili right now, and it's a really special place to be, especially in the winter seasons. Uh, they got awesome scenery down mountains, and uh, they've got really nice hot springs as well. So let's go check it out and see what's got in store for us. Wow, the scenery here is very beautiful. You can see the Jianan Plain. I heard that this is a popular site to enjoy the night view. Bi Yun Temple is situated halfway up the spectacular Guanzili Mountain. It faces the west toward the first Jianan Plain with its back to the beautiful Pillow Mountain. There are lush forests nearby, making everything green and verdant, half shrouded in mist. The temple has the same source as water and fire cave, with an abundance of natural gas underground, so it is also called Huo San Bi Yun Temple. Bi Yun Temple was built in the 13th year of the Jia Qing era. Most of the building structures of Bi Yun Temple preserved the mix of the Taiwanese and Japanese style. One of its characteristics is the extensive use of washed granolithic concrete. You can see the local features on the ceramics cutting and pasting and the clay sculptures of the main hall and salmon. The pair of smiling lions outside the salmon especially catches your attention. In the evening, if you look out the gate of the temple at the setting sun, the temple silhouette and the sun temple form a pure and beautiful scene. The cloud sea that accompanies the sunset is like a paradise. This is a good place to take a walk and enjoy the beautiful view absent in the city. There is a bus stop at the gate of Biyun Temple. You can get to Huoshan Biyun Temple by taking the yellow 12 by He Guanzili bus. It is very convenient. Next, we're going to Water and Fire Cave. Don't forget to download the app of Tainan City Bus. It will tell you the current location of the bus and when it will arrive at the bus stop so you can be updated on the newest information. Let me give it a try. Water and Fire Cave it is a must if you go to Guanzili. It is located in the southwest of Pillow Mountain. Due to the geological structure, lots of natural gas comes out of the crevices of the cliff. And because both natural gas and spring water come out of the crevices, the special scene of fire and water is created once the natural gas is ignited. Water and Fire Cave is close to Bi Yun Temple, with only a 16-minute walk or a bus stop away. So if you don't want to walk, you can take the bus, but it's only available on weekends. The scene of Water and Fire Cave is the design of the great sculptor, Professor Yang Ying Feng. In the past, people regarded the spectacle of Water and Fire Cave as a miracle. And during the Japanese occupation, they set a stone Buddha, Water and Fire God, at the place where the fire came out for people to worship. This rare phenomenon symbolizes the coexistence of all beings and the harmony between people. In 1993, the Tainan County government took the compatibility between water and fire as a spiritual symbol. The fruit of the Kigelia planted on the Water and Fire Cave Plaza has a strange shape, like a sausage. It is poisonous and inedible. Visitors have to be careful. Hey, uh, believe it or not, the Tainan City Bus actually can take you out of the city. Uh, right now, we're uh, in front of one of the bus stops for uh, the Yellow Line buses. 
and it takes you up the mountains. And on this mountain, there's uh, coffee and pong can or uh, Chinese honey oranges. So let's go check it out. So uh, right now we're in uh, an orchard right by Route 175, and the owner of this orchard is actually my friend, uh, Mr. Zong. David, hi. 各位观众，大家好。So,、uh, Mr. Zong, could you tell us a little bit、uh, about these pongan, or、uh, otherwise known as the Chinese honey oranges? Pongan, it's its flowering date is from August to May. 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 屁股有凹进去的地方比较甜，没有凹进去的地方比较不甜。Well, I didn't know that.、Uh, I guess you learn something new、uh, each day. So,、uh, how sweet are they? 这个我可以当场测给你看。Okay. So it's、uh, it's showing up as seven.、Um, is that sweet? 这还不够甜，还有更甜。它可以到十二度 ，David， 这这就是十二度的。Okay. Yeah, it's twelve. It's definitely a、uh, twelve. David， 你试试看。Okay, sure. Thanks. Hmm. It's really good, and it's really, really juicy. So,、uh, Mr. Jones Orchard actually has a、uh, little secret weapon.、Uh, this little thing here—it's actually a sensor that detects the daily high and low、uh, temperatures. And he actually、uh, unplugs it each day and uploads it to his computer.、Uh, therefore, he can actually、uh, closely、uh, monitor the weather conditions of his orchard. And as far as I know, he's the only one、uh, doing it in this area. This is to split two parts. 这边剪一段，这边剪一段。Okay, let me give that a shot. So,、uh, why do you、um, cut in two places? When you harvest pumpkin, cut off the branch that carries the fruit, and then cut off the remaining part of the branch from the base of the fruit to keep from damaging other pumpkin. Wow,、uh, ladybug. So、uh, by sticking to an all-natural approach to、uh, managing his orchard, it actually attracts a lot of the、uh, animals that would help him control、uh, the pests. For example, the、uh, tiny ladybug actually、uh, eats the aphids that's otherwise harmful to、uh, the orange trees. So another thing that's really special about this orchard here is that,、uh, as you can see, he's actually left all the weed and grass intact. Which is a uh, a uh, contrast to a lot of the regional orchards where they tend to cut down and cut off all the grass and weeds. But、uh, by doing this, it's actually protecting the soil underneath. It keeps it、uh, damp and keeps the、uh, temperature down bit,、uh, as well, and、uh, also attracts a lot of、uh, wildlife. And some of those wildlife actually protects、um, his oranges from getting eaten by pests. Sod culture is not only soil friendly, but the fruit produced is also healthier. The harvested pumpkin need to be processed by machine to get rid of the dust on their surface before being packed according to their weight. Not only do they have pumpkin here, they also grow coffee. Coffee Route 175 deserves its name. Can you imagine? The sweetness of the coffee is almost 30. Wow, it's unbelievable! If you come to Dongshan Coffee Route 175 in autumn. You will see red coffee and green pumpkin. It is the best season to drink coffee and eat pumpkin. If you come to Dongshan, don't forget to bring some coffee and pumpkin home. At Guanzhuang, you must enjoy the unique mud springs here. At Guanzhuang, by her district, there are many hot spring resorts along the road. You can choose a hot spring resort with a beautiful view. You can also come to century-old hot spring hotel to experience the retro hotel. Walking into the hotel is like walking into a time theater. It feels like you are filming a movie in the 1940s. It is very unique. Oh man, yeah, definitely hits the spot.、Um, I'm actually in one of Guanzhuang's many、uh, hot springs, believe it or not. 
And this one is one of the oldest in this area. It dates back to uh, more than a century ago. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not the newest around, but it's got its own antique charm in a way. It's not bad. So you may think that this water, you know, why is it all murky and stuff? But I uh, assure you, it's not just heated up mud water. It's actually a very special type of hot springs. Uh, it's a type of carbonated um, uh, hot springs. It's full of iodine, and the pH level sits around at 8.2%. So it's a little bit salty if you taste it. Not that I recommend you uh, tasting it or anything, but it's pretty unique in that regard. You know, soaking in hot springs, it's a really good uh, family event. It's good for uh, lots of different people. It's good for your health uh, in that regard. But there's a few things you gotta, you gotta uh, think about before coming to hot spring. Uh, first is do not come if you're uh, drunk, even just a little bit. It's really not good for you. And second, um, if your family has a history of high blood pressure, heart disease, it's also advised not to stay in a hot spring for way too long. So uh, for the matter, it's recommended that you uh, get out of the hot spring every 10 or 15 minutes to take a break. Otherwise your body sort of uh, overheats. Man, after the nice soak in the hot springs, uh, sure really makes you uh, hungry. But uh, this place here, they got some really special chicken. It's so special in fact that they actually cook it inside a uh, wood fire kiln. So let's go and check it out and see what they've got in store for us. So the reason that Guan Ziling has so many urn chicken restaurants is that there are lots of long end wood and local free range chickens here. After being roasted in an urn, the chicken will taste crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It's very popular. So I came here for uh, the kiln cooked chicken, but uh, as you can see, there's also a lot of local cuisine uh, on this table here. Um, if it's okay, can you uh, take us through the different dishes here? <laughs> It was right. It's very uh, sweet and tender. Yeah, it does make a difference um, when it's fresh. It's really uh, tender and sweet and juicy as well. This is one banana, a guama, a sunshine, so you see the. No, I love this. Uh, this is actually a type of fern that could be found in mountains in this area, and um, it's super fresh and super refreshing. It's a salad. This is one curry chicken, a big boy. This is from the. Sure. So these sweet potato leaves, um, they're really special as well. Um, they planted these themselves and they actually go harvest them daily for their uh, restaurants. And like always, it's really fresh. Thank you. Good stuff too. Uh, again, like pretty much everything in the restaurant, it's all uh, freshly made and handmade as well. Uh, in fact, these bamboo shoots, they cut it up themselves, and I think that human touch really makes a difference. Wow, it's amazing! The hot urn chicken has been cut up into a delicious cuisine under the delicate hands of a professional. I mean, I'm really hungry, but uh, as the saying goes, the good things uh, come to those who wait, and I think I've waited long enough. I'm for sure going to dig in to this chicken. It's excellent. You know, this is perhaps the uh, juiciest chicken I've had in my life. I am not exaggerating. You know, taking the uh, public transportation system needn't be a hassle. In fact, the uh, Tainan city bus is a great system. Um, on a day trip like today, it's great and it's convenient. It takes you to a lot of different places. So next time you're in Tainan, uh, be sure to give the bus system a shot. It's definitely worth your while.